Alright then, here comes the next part. Now I have already removed all generators and moved a plate with some life support. Or with the life support actually. Out in space if you can find it, there it is. Now I'm going to show you what each device does in this last part of the environment control tutorial. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the heat exchange on first. As you can see, I'm stopped losing air, but I'm still losing energy. I can do this to refresh it to 100 if I need it. If I turn this on, it will stop using energy too. But if I do this, I will still just float around in space. Turn this on. We just can get to close enough. I will get the atmosphere field. And if this was on a server, I could no clip within this field. As you can see, I've fallen down. If I go like this, it makes a pretty huge field. As you can see, now I'm out of it. And in space, if I was out of it like I was down there, I wouldn't at all be able to do it. So what we are going to do now is basically, I am going to explain a little, because as you probably know, then you are losing a lot of resources. Actually, I think about 500 per person. And I shouldn't about five. Water we don't use right now. What you can do to address the energy fall. The air fall you cannot really do anything because in order to do that you can use the camera relate. But I don't recommend that because it takes a heck of a lot of resources and it's not basically not worth it like it was in the uh, LS2. You can always address energy fall by building solar panels to try to gather the lost energy. As you can see, this is not working as well as I have hoped. Let's see... This... Nope. I'm starting to get a little angry. Let me see... Yeah, yeah, this is a good position. Now to find the key position, you can just overkill with them, or spam. Hit. Now, if you play a sitting like mine, as you can see right here, all your uh, life support 3 stuff, like the life support 2 stuff, is compatible with no collide, wield, everything. So just right click with the no collide tool and will not cost any hours. But remember, props, even if I have gravity, like I have now, props will not receive gravity. So that means ships, fighters, frigates, everything like that will still have zero gravity out in space, no matter how many of these you place. Uh, and basically, a clam regulator doesn't give props gravity. Props and um, vehicles, uh, basically everything in this sector, except for weapons, because that's basically a weapon. But basically everything in here will still have zero gravity. It only gives players zero gravity. Uh, sorry, gravity. So, this was basically the end of the um, basic environment control tutorial. If you have any additional questions, visit the... Um, uh, or basically you can just comment if you have any further questions. It would be a lot easier for us all. Uh, because I'm checking my profile basically every day for comments. Or I'm going to do that in a while, a little while. So comment all that you want. You are well more than welcome to uh, ask for stuff. You are also welcome to ask questions to especially I really want you guys to basically give me some ideas uh, when I have done everything I plan on I really want you guys to give me some ideas on how to uh, actually use uh, oh sorry not use what it's called again two seconds I'm retarded right now let me see oh yeah never mind but <laughs> sorry guys I want you to actually give me some ideas about how to make, just ask me for can you do that or that, and I will look at it. Even if I don't answer you or anything, I will still properly look at it. So just feel free to comment. See you.